have been just spending the morning walking around by myself, which has been very, very nice. It's kind of like New York vibes, and I'm feeling like truly in my element. Whoa, kitty. Watch out for this. No, no, no. Wait, hold up, hold up. I'm just enjoying my morning so much, and now I'm gonna go meet Amber and Andrew at the craziest place in the world. They're at the cat cafe. There's Andrew's shoes. Today was our last day in Kyoto, so of course we had to go to a cat cafe. Hi, Ashley. Japan has a ton of fun animal cafes and we couldn't leave without going to one. The munchkin cat. This one was called Fluffy's Cafe in Kyoto and all the cats were insanely friendly and the drinks were also super, super good. Andrew was loving petting these cats, but let me tell you, he is pretty allergic to them. So I just know that his nose was like running the entire time. so awesome and their drinks were fire. Now our goal today is making a day trip to Nara, which is known for their bowing deer. Yes, deer that bow. But first, a snack. We're on our way to Nara. We're gonna go see the deer now. It's truly an animal filled day. Another animal. Another animal. I'm an animal. Yeah, period. By now we're pretty much experts at catching the train, so we hopped aboard and started our journey to Nara. As I mentioned, it's known for their super domesticated bowing deer, and I will say my uncle told me that the deer can be really aggressive though if they want food. He's trying to buy me, what the heck, get away. So that did make me a little scared, but we're still gonna go because it just seemed too cool to miss out on. We made it. Where are the deer? It's raining a little bit, so I get to put on my hat that I got yesterday. Amber's wearing her hat that she got the other day too. I got this at Tokyo Disney. Deer crossing the road. Andrew over there. There's a deer that's crossing the road. Do you see it? It's crossing the street. The deer that's right there. Let's ride right in. <laughs> oh, he's bowing. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Doesn't want to do it for me. I feel so bad. I don't have a cookie to give him in exchange. Oh, I have a cookie. No, don't. You cannot give them a chocolate chip cookie. Oh God. I heard they just be biting people. That little dude just bit my bag, literally. Look, we made it to Nara Park. Let's go buy some cookies for the deer. You have to be careful that the deer do not come and nip you in the butt. Where do they sell the cookies? Oh, it's a baby. The baby one. What did you think of the deer? I intentionally never got cookies because I was so afraid of them biting me. <laughs> but they were really cute. Just a little aggressive if you have food. They just really scared me so bad. But they were so cute. <laughs> After Nara, we weren't done. We decided we had to go see Osaka too. Going to Osaka. It was only an hour away and we specifically really wanted to get food there. We made it to Osaka! This is so epic. Everything is open later here. We are about to go get Okonomiyaki, aka noodle pizza. Kelly's family always talks about it when they talk about Japan, so we're gonna go try it. I'm so freaking excited. They coined the term noodle pizza? No, it's just always oh. called noodle pizza. Like the one in Japan call it that? No, like American people would call it that. We're going to Oko Fun Okinomiyaki. Period. Let's go. Let's go. I am grateful yeah. for this chance. Thanks to everyone. I am actually so grateful for this chance. I'm so excited. I feel like this will be really good. So I checked the reviews online and this place was known for a long wait, but everyone said it was worth it. So we waited and it was this tiny little place with just one girl working. She was the chef, the hostess, everything. And let me tell you, she served us the Okonomiyaki fresh off the grill. Are you excited? Dude, this looks crazy. 
Very good. <laughs> really? Burn my tongue. There's a weird sauce on it. it. Smells like A1. Okay, I just realized this. I've been calling different names all day. I've been calling it noodle pizza, noodle pancake. I don't know. Basically, I realized it's actually not noodles. It's like okra mixed with like wheat flour or okra pulp and topped with cheese. I got a vegan one. And they're covered in vegan cheese. This looks crazy. Mm -hmm. Small, you got a small. Yeah, and, and we're, everyone else is not even You're working hard here. enough. You're not even You're working cheater. hard enough. This place is the best, no, no cap, from Sergio. After the Okonomiyaki, we realized that there's only one train left leaving Osaka for Kyoto, so we had to both, like, literally sprint to the train station to try to catch it. We're gonna miss our train! And then we missed it. So, yep, we had to take a really expensive taxi. The next morning, it was finally time to leave Kyoto and head back to Tokyo. And you will not believe it, on the train back, we finally saw Mount Fuji. I waited days and days for this. It's our last full day and we finally saw it. Okay, we just arrived at our last hotel. It's our final day back in Tokyo. Yesterday was our last day in Kyoto and we're staying in, I gotta like mentally prepare myself to say the name of this, Asakusa. We're in Asakusa. Asakusa. And we stayed in Akasaka before, but now we're in Asakusa. And this is our hotel room! They got us a little Japanese style hotel room for the last day! Wow, this is very nice. Whoa! Andrew bathtub with the view! With the view of the Tokyo Sky Tree! Whoa. This is like the most nicely, beautifully lit bathroom I have ever seen in my life. There's the Tokyo Sky Tree that we're gonna go visit later! It is so adorbs! Yay! Amber and Pono's room, looking fire. So the name of the hotel we stayed at was the Asakusa View Hotel, Annex Roku, and it offered free snacks until 3 p.m. So you know we had to take them up on that. Andrew's making like five drinks, he needs to stop. He's like, not okay. <laughs> They had so many delicious drinks and desserts. We were literally in heaven. Alexander's love a free snack. Okay, now we are out and about heading to the ever so famous Suzukian matcha ice cream shop. It's the one that has like all the levels of ice cream. I think it's like one through seven and it just gets darker and darker green. Suzukian, here we are. The reason I came to Japan straight up. I am ready for this. Ooh, it is packed. Hi YouTube, I just did a taste test for my TikTok of the different levels. I wanted to do it for you guys too, but the funnier one is on my TikTok. We have hojicha, roasted green tea. Then we have level one, four, and seven. Seven is the highest level. I'm gonna do a little scoop for you guys. It is incredibly melted. Here's number one. Ooh, ooh. For me, that's giving vanilla. Number four. Mm, classic matcha latte flavor. It's still pretty strong. And then number seven, the strongest one. It's like straight up grass. Cheers. Straight grass. Hojicha. This is bussin'. As you guys know, I've been loving hojicha recently. Okay, we're going to another ice cream place now. Worst cord ever. Look at my microphone cord. This is how Andrew's been filming. Ow. Pigeon. Pigeon. Amber's nickname used to be Pigeon. Because you look like Pigeon. I look like Bulby. Okay, I want to make a quick note that the ice cream got insanely more, like, flavorful as it melted. I don't even know how to explain it. It's very, it's just potent. <laughs> Okay, you mean big smile? <laughs> <laughs> We're mixing all the flavors together. Delicious. Wow, this actually looks crazy. Ooh, this might be the perfect mix. No run for the next ice cream place. Just a quick walk by the Sensoji Temple. Oh, oh this right. temple in Tokyo. Excuse me, sir, can I ask you a question? Are you excited to go to another ice cream place? I have to pee, so yes. Oh no, I'm running. <laughs> <laughs> uh, excuse me, miss. Excuse me. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, what are you listening to? 
smooth like butter. Got a criminal undercover. Oh no! What are you listening to? Oh, I can't think of anything funny. <laughs> <laughs> I'm listening to Nice Guys by Kev Jumpa and Chester C. Andrew said he built this in Minecraft My before. My friend Sean did. Who did? Oh, uh, <laughs> sorry. friend Sean built that in Minecraft. And then he got struck by lightning and burned down. <laughs> <laughs> running to the ice cream, running to the ice cream. This is not it, however, this looks amazing. I wish I had time to get this. Look, it's the Pyramid of Matcha. Wow. We realized that the top is chestnut paste. Yeah. I actually love chestnut, so it's good, but I thought it was gonna be cold to get ice cream, and it was very off-putting on the first bite. You gotta get to the stuff underneath. Look at this. What? Yeah, Ashley, did you even know there's other stuff in it? Oh, you gotta get through all this. She was her bag. Okay, we realized that this actually has no ice cream whatsoever. There's no ice cream in it at all. Yeah, we got hood wings. Tokyo Sky Tree. We're gonna go up to there. Tokyo Sky Tree is the tallest structure in Japan, and it's also the second tallest structure in the world. So it comes in at a whopping height of 2,080 feet, and the only structure taller than it is the Burj Khalifa in Dubai. We get the epic view. I'm afraid of heights. I don't like this. This is fire. You see the whole city from here. Crazy, expansive city that's literally insane. This is way bigger than New York, actually. I was not even expecting this. New York City is just this strip. And then Tokyo's like, New York City, 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 New York City. That's a lot of city. I really like this view. Oh my god. Tokyo. I want to come back here next week. Let's, next week. Let's fly home for Father's Day and Dad's birthday, and then let's bring the whole squad to Japan. You know, Mom, you have Dad, a point. Bubby, Kitty, we're bringing them all. Bubby needs to see this view. <laughs> I know he'd love this. Second Mount Fuji of the day. After the sunset, we gave Okonomiyaki a second attempt. Our second attempt at noodle pizza. This one actually looks like it has noodles in it. <laughs> well, I think, it, yeah, it definitely has noodles. So, in it. Okonomiyaki take two. I wanted to try one that actually had noodles because Kelly said that his had noodles. And if it's called noodle pizza, it's I called mean, noodle pizza. It's I don't know. Noodles. Cheers. The noodles in this one are bussin' and crispy and so good. 